New at five, the deadliest attack against the Jewish community in U.S. history. Today, the names of those victims were released. Eleven people died in the attack. Here are their names and some of their photos. The victims range from 54 to 97 years old. Among the dead, a married couple and two brothers. Six more were hurt, including four police officers. Thanks for watching tonight at five. I'm Greg Privet. There's a Tennessee Valley connection to the mass shooting. Way 31 spoke with the visiting rabbi at the Huntsville Conservative Synagogue. We learned that Rabbi Stephen Listfield used to be the rabbi at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. That was nine years ago. Way 31's Brittany Collins is live at the Huntsville Synagogue with how yesterday's mass shooting hits close to home for Huntsville's Jewish community. Brittany. Well, Greg, this afternoon, members of the Huntsville Conservative Synagogue discussed yesterday's mass shooting. Ye Rabbi Stephen Listfield told me that he knew six of the 11 victims who were killed. We pray. And we pray to God. And among the prayers we say is for peace. And we pray to learn how to love each other better. Rabbi Stephen Listfield remembers those who died at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh, including Rose Malinger and brothers Cecil and David Rosenthal. And they were just as harmless and sweet and innocent as can be. He's got a story to tell about each victim. I remember that man very well. He was always joking. Um, he and his wife were both killed, and he would joke with his wife, and she would joke back with him. People like that, they just, they just deserve to live their lives. Rabbi Listfield was up all night talking with friends in Pittsburgh. He was the rabbi at the Tree of Life Synagogue for three years. When he saw the face of the gunman, Robert Bowers, on the news, he didn't just see him as a shooter. It's a murderer. A murderer. People need to know that this horrible person is a murderer. Our leaders need to know that we will not tolerate murderers. Bowers yelled, all Jews must die when shooting inside the synagogue. Max Rosenthal and other Jews in Huntsville told me those words hurt them. Since the Holocaust, they never thought this hatred would happen in America. Unfortunately, it is happening. It does happen. And uh, we're just going to have to be much more on our guard, I think, than we ever were before. Rabbi Listfield told me he has meetings with other Jewish leaders on protecting the synagogue and the Jewish community. Until people in this country all learn how to, if not love each other, at least accept each other, we're going to have to be much more serious about security. Something else Rabbi Listfield told me that he's glad that political leaders are giving their thoughts and prayers, but he also wants to see leaders start to take more action when it comes to gun control and terrorist acts. Right now reporting live in Huntsville, Brittany Collins, Way 31 News.